Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Chloe. Today I wanted to try out this Milani Brightening Concealer. Okay, well, I guess it's not even a concealer. It says under eye tint. Milani Supercharged Under Eye Tint. I got peach because I do have pretty pinky, kind of yellowy undertones. So hopefully that'll be good. Let me read you some things about it. Okay, so it's specifically from their Supercharged collection. Looks like they have a lip and cheek tint, a primer. The Supercharged thing is like a whole line. There's only three shades, which is crazy. They have 110 pink, which says fair to light. They have 120 peach, light to medium. And they have 130 deep peach, medium to deep. I'm assuming because it's a tint, like a wide range of people can use it. Okay, under why you'll love it. Instantly color corrects and illuminates under eyes with color correcting pigments, micro fine pearls. Uh, that doesn't sound healthy. It's a two-in-one makeup and skincare formula. It brightens dark circles and hydrates with hyaluronic acid, plant-based collagen, niacinamide, and caffeine. Nourishing, lightweight texture. It's cruelty-free, vegan, made in the United States. I'm kind of just dying to use it, so let's just get into it. Also really like the packaging and that there's literally no more packaging than the product itself. Okay, this is the applicator it is. I'm just gonna start and apply, I don't know. I'm just going for a small amount in the beginning, I guess. I'm gonna take my beauty blender to blend this out. I'm a little worried about it being too dark. But, I mean, no, it looks perfect. I will say on the back of the bottle, it did mention that you could use it by itself or underneath concealer. So I'm assuming coverage isn't anything too crazy. Although that's very good coverage. I have a lot of sparkles in this inner corner, but I think you can see my under eyes well enough. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of primer underneath my other eye and see if it goes over that any differently. This stuff goes such a long way. I'm taking literally the smallest amount. Let's settle in for just a second. Coverage isn't necessarily any less than concealers I'm already wearing, so let's go in with it. I felt like I used a lot on the last eye, but it really doesn't look like it. I like the primer just kind of outlined where I put it. Like it really, really grabbed onto the primer, but this side doesn't, the side with primer doesn't blend into my skin as well as the side without primer which kind of makes sense to me it's just really grabbing onto the primer good thing i wear face makeup pretty much every day now it would all be blended in and it's nothing dramatic like through the camera i'm sure you can't even tell where that cutoff is i feel like i just notice it a tiny little bit i mean i think that looks really good but i kind of do want to try doing a second layer just focusing it on the inner corner mostly because that is the darkest part of my dark circle. I guess I shouldn't have applied this yet, but definitely built up. I feel like that looks good. I feel like when I turn my head, I can see my dark circles. I think that looks very, very nice. I really like how that looks a lot, actually. My skin looks very like supple and fresh very, as well, but not too dewy for under the eyes. It's actually really beautiful. I wonder how well you can see this on camera, but I feel like I just noticed a slight little skin difference right there. Again, I am gonna be putting face makeup on so you won't notice that later. It's just something to note for the people who don't wear face makeup. Look how healthy and alive I look now though. Okay, I'm not gonna powder anything because I wanna see how this does just on its own. I already have a primed side and a not primed side and I think that's testing enough. It is already just past 1 p.m., so I am gonna go in and finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll do a little check-in later. I'm back and it's just after 3.30, so it's been like two and a half hours. So let's see how it's holding up. Okay, so I feel like on this eye, I do see some creasing and when I pull that down a little bit, I can see the product built up in my crease. That could be because I put two layers on, but it also seems like that is because of no primer. I ended up really putting it to the test on accident. I started cutting some onions like 20 minutes after I put it on and it was rough. It was really rough. And it looks totally fine after that, so that's great. And it looks totally fine after that, so that's really good. Yeah, I'm really just noticing the creasing under this eye and this one looks really good. I'm questioning the coverage on this eye, like just a little bit. Like, does it look like it has a little less coverage than this one, which would be weird. Like, I don't know, maybe that could happen. So far, I'm super happy with it. I think everything looks really good. I mean, it has only been a couple hours, so I would hope so. 
It doesn't say anything about longevity, so I am just going to keep checking in and kind of seeing how long it lasts. I'm just gonna go in with a brush really quick under the one eye to get rid of that creasing. If you do to one, you have to do to the other. Literally looks good as new. I will be back in a little bit. Alrighty, I'm back and it's now 6.15. It's actually looking really good, I think. Creasing came back again on this eye. This eye has now started to crease a little bit. This is the side with primer, no primer. I feel like the coverage is definitely fading. I notice it most in my inner corners. That's usually the darkest part of my dark circles. But nothing too crazy. They are still not really noticeable at all. I'm just gonna tap it in one more time with the brush. This, I do have a yoga class and I'm going out after this. So I'm really curious to see how it's gonna hold up through that. I'm also just curious to see like how long it lasts in general because it still looks like very good. So I'm gonna give it a few more hours and I'll be back later. Final check-in, it's about 10.30. My gosh, I am exhausted. Let me zoom you in. Okay, it's officially fading, it's officially creasing. Dark circles definitely coming through, definitely looking tired, which I am, so I mean, I mean, that is nine hours, so very decent, especially for a illuminating brightening concealer, something that's glowy and I didn't set. Honestly, just for shits and giggles, I kinda just wanna try blending it out again and see if that changes anything. It did definitely help to soften everything out, kind of get rid of those creases and it just like falling into my fine lines, but I don't necessarily feel like that gave any more coverage at all, so I feel like I definitely still see my dark circles. But I notice a difference. Okay, I'm just going to take one of them off so we can see the difference. Okay, so you definitely can still see that difference there, so it still has a bit of coverage. Which I say is pretty good for how glowy of a concealer it is. I mean, we did two layers, but still. Oh my gosh, my under eye bags are so bad. That's going to be all for this week's video. I didn't have my mic on for any of that. Okay, well, I hope you can still hear everything I said. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And leave me a like because it really helps me out. See you guys in the next one.